The godlike figure who shocked the world, DeepSeek founder Liang Wenfeng. Why is a small budget achieving big things? Why is a small team winning against giants? Can you believe it? An 80s born programmer with long bangs and a work shirt, leading a team of 139 people, has stirred up the global AI world with 1% of the R&D cost of his international peers, making even international tech giants restless. This man, Liang Wenfeng, is neither from a major internet company nor a Silicon Valley returnee. Yet, he transitioned from the quantitative finance battlefield to the AI domain, achieving something monumental. Many believe that AI R&D requires burning money in large teams, but Liang Wenfeng refused to believe it. His company, DeepSeek, has rewritten the global artificial intelligence competitive landscape in an almost sci-fi manner. And has even open sourced its core technology, allowing Chinese AI to stand at the forefront of global innovation for the first time. What secrets lie behind this? Next, let's unveil the mystery of Liang Wenfeng and his deep seek, and see how he transformed from a king of quant into an AI maniac. How he challenged industry giants with a unique model, and what impact he has brought to global AI development. I cross industry maverick from the financial battlefield to the AI arena. Liang Wenfeng's life trajectory is legendary. Born in 1985 into an ordinary teacher's family in Zhangjiang, Guangdong, he was fascinated by mathematical modeling from a young age. At 17, as the top scorer in the college entrance examination for Wuchuan Number、no. One Middle School, he entered Zhejiang University. In the laboratory, he already showed astonishing technical talent. While others were studying classic algorithms from textbooks. He was already trying to use machine learning to predict stock trends. During the 2008 global financial crisis, 23-year-old Liang Wenfeng entered the stock market with 80,000 renminbi in capital, initiating a money printing machine mode with his self-developed quantitative models. In 2015, he co-founded Huanfang Quant with his classmate Su Jin, replacing traditional fund managers with AI algorithms and entrusting trading decisions to server clusters. In 2019, he invested a hefty 200 million renminbi to self-develop the Firefly Number、no. One deep learning platform. By 2021, their managed assets surpassed 100 billion renminbi, making them one of China's four heavenly kings in the private equity sector. Yet, at the peak of quantitative funds glory in 2022, Liang Wenfeng made a decision that shook the industry. To invest all the money earned in the financial market into general artificial intelligence (AGI), which at the time showed no clear commercialization prospects. In July 2023, a company named DeepSeek was quietly registered in West Lake District, Hangzhou. No one expected that two years later it would keep Silicon Valley awake at night. In contrast, in the financial world of Europe and America. Most of the giants who made a fortune in quantitative finance chose to continue to deep dive into financial markets. Few would cross over into the high-risk, uncertain field of AI fundamental research. For example, Renaissance Technologies in the United States, founded by the father of quantitative investing Jim Simons, has achieved remarkable success in quantitative finance, but for years its main business has focused on financial investment. Without large-scale involvement in AI fundamental research, Liang Wenfeng's cross-industry move was like a sharp blade, precisely cutting through the seemingly impenetrable barriers between industries. In the financial sector, he created a remarkable wealth myth through quantitative investment strategies. When everyone thought he would settle for the status of a new Wall Street rich, he resolutely chose to turn around. He transformed the cutting-edge algorithms, vast data processing experience, and strong capital reserves accumulated in the quantitative field into a stepping stone for exploring the AI domain, fearlessly entering this blue ocean full of unknowns and challenges. This exceptionally bold transformation stands in stark contrast to the major Western tech giants. These giants, with vast resources at hand, are often reluctant to take risks and thus indulge in their comfort zones. Making minor tweaks within existing technical frameworks, Liang Wenfeng, on the other hand, acted as a pioneer, not only completing a perilous leap in his personal career development, but also building a bridge of technological integration at the intersection of finance and AI. 
By combining the dynamic prediction algorithms from financial models with AI deep learning, he successfully developed an intelligent investment system with autonomous decision-making capabilities, transforming cross-domain innovation from theoretical conception into practical application, lighting the way for countless future explorers of cross-industry innovation. 2. Small Bets, Big Wins, The Low-Cost, High-Efficiency AI Miracle Liang Wenfeng's madness was fully evident during DeepSeek's development. During the pandemic, when global tech companies were still observing AI computing power demands, Huanfang had already secretly stockpiled tens of thousands of NVIDIA A100 graphics cards. This move, seen by peers as having too much money and being reckless, later became the decisive factor in DeepSeek's rise. When major companies were scrambling over chip bands, his team had already mastered the 18 dragon subduing palms in their self-built computing power pool. DeepSeek's R&D team was modest to say the least, 139 people, with an average age of under 30, all locally trained engineers, and even deliberately avoiding hiring experienced veterans. But it was this group of young people who, by the end of 2024, created the world-shocking Chinese miracle, using 2048H100 graphics cards and a cost of $5.57 million, they trained the DeepSeek V3 model in 53 days, whose performance crushed GPT-40. In contrast, OpenAI's team size is over a thousand people, and its R&D costs are astonishingly high. International tech giants like Google and Microsoft also pour astronomical sums into AI R&D, often tens of billions or even hundreds of billions of dollars. Yet, their R&D efficiency pales in comparison to DeepSeek. As the global AI field was deeply entrenched in a resource race, DeepSeek's sudden emergence was like a sharp blade, precisely piercing the false proposition that big money plus big team equals AI success. Liang Wenfeng's team of 139 people, with a workforce size less than a fraction of major companies and GPU computing power constrained to one-tenth of leading enterprises, developed a large language model that rivaled or even surpassed industry giants. This small yet refined R&D paradigm not only overturned the traditional dogma that AI R&D must rely on massive capital accumulation and bloated team collaboration but also revealed the essence of technological innovation, true breakthroughs often stem from a deep understanding of the underlying logic of technology, efficient resource integration capabilities, and high team synergy towards core objectives. This phenomenal success sent shockwaves through the global AI industry. International tech giants halted expansion plans and re-evaluated their R&D structures. Small and medium-sized startups saw a glimmer of hope for overtaking in the curve. DeepSeek's case proves that in the era of AI democratization, the lightweight model of small steps, rapid iteration, and precise iteration is gradually dismantling the resource barriers of traditional giants forcing the industry to rethink what truly drives technological innovation. This tech revolution sparked by Liang Wenfeng's team may become a crucial turning point for the AI industry, moving from extensive growth to refined development. 3. Open Source for All, a value choice that disrupts the industry. While other large model companies were busy building moats, Liang Wenfeng chose to open source DeepSeek's core technology. This technological missionary approach not only forced major Chinese companies like Alibaba and ByteDance to hold emergency meetings to adjust strategies overnight but also caused an uproar overseas, OpenAI founder Sam Altman rarely posted three consecutive tweets commenting, DeepSeek proves that innovation doesn't necessarily require astronomical investments. In Europe and America, many AI giants hold their core technologies tightly, building competitive advantages through patents and technological barriers. For example, OpenAI, although it had some open-source initiatives early on, gradually became more closed as it developed, and its core models are not open-source. Some of Google's AI technologies are also often licensed for use within specific ranges, rather than being completely open-source. Liang Wenfeng's decision to open-source DeepSeek is not just a technical path choice but also a profound innovation in the paradigm of industry development. In the generative AI field, Giants like OpenAI and Google have built technological barriers through high R&D investments, encapsulating advanced models into commercial black boxes. While this closed model can quickly achieve commercial monetization, 
it severely hinders technological inclusiveness and the balanced development of the global AI ecosystem. DeepSeek breaks this convention by fully open sourcing its core model architecture, training algorithms, and even optimization strategies. In essence, it practices the concept of technological equity in the digital age by lowering the technical entry barrier. It allows global developers, research institutions, and even individual practitioners to participate in the iteration of AI technology. The ripple effect of this open source strategy is already evident, from spontaneously formed optimization communities by global developers on GitHub to localized AI applications developed by Southeast Asian startups based on DeepSeek models from African universities incorporating open source code into their teaching systems to European research teams using open parameters for cross-domain research. The open sourcing of technology has broken geographical and resource limitations, forming a global network of collaborative innovation. Data shows that within three months of DeepSeek's open sourcing, over 5,000 secondary development projects based on its code base have emerged, covering 12 vertical fields such as medical image recognition and multilingual translation. This exponential speed of technological diffusion confirms the unique advantages of the open source model in activating innovation potential. More strategically, DeepSeek's open source action has injected a new dimension into global AI industry competition. While European and American companies are still building commercial moats around closed source models, Technological innovation within an open ecosystem has shown and many hands make light work momentum. This shift from closed monopoly to open win-win not only reshapes industry competition rules but also provides new ideas for the ethical development of global AI technology. Only by returning technology to its inclusive essence can the infinite possibilities of artificial intelligence serving human society truly be unleashed. For quantitative thinking, the success code of DeepSeek. Delving deeper into DeepSeek's success, Liang Wenfeng's unique quantitative gene is indispensable. In extreme cost control, he brought the risk-reward ratio thinking from the financial market into AI R&D. While peers were burning money on parameters, DeepSeek focused on algorithm optimization, pressing training costs down to 1 20th of the industry average. He said, if improving performance by 5% requires 10 times the cost, that is unethical innovation. In terms of data-driven approaches, the trillion-dollar financial data trained during the Huanfang period became DeepSeek's exclusive nourishment. Compared to internet companies that rely on public corpora, DeepSeek's model is more adept at handling complex logic and long-range reasoning, which is a key factor in its crushing performance over ChatGPT in mathematics and coding. In organizational philosophy, DeepSeek sets no KPIs, has no hierarchical reporting, and encourages bottom-up innovation. This geek culture, proven in quantitative funds, has unleashed astonishing energy in AI R&D. As a core team member put it, here, there's no what the boss thinks, only what the model proves. In contrast, many AI companies in Europe and America are relatively rough in cost control, tending to exchange large-scale investment for performance improvement. In data utilization, while they also have massive amounts of data, it is mostly the integration of public internet data, few have unique and high-quality proprietary data like DeepSeek. In organizational management, rigid hierarchies and cumbersome processes, to some extent, limit the vitality of innovation. Liang Wenfeng's successful transplantation of quantitative thinking into the AI field represents an innovative management and R&D model. Extreme cost control optimizes resource utilization, unique data advantages give the model superior performance, and a flexible organizational structure inspires the team's innovative potential. This practice of drawing successful experiences from other fields and applying them to AI provides new ideas for the industry. In comparison, the rigid models of some European and American AI companies appear somewhat lagging, and DeepSeek's success has also made them realize that breaking conventions and cross-industry integration are essential for gaining an advantage in fierce competition. V. Eastern Power, Rewriting the Global AI Landscape In January 2025, Liang Wenfeng appeared on CCTV News as a representative of an AI enterprise. The entire nation wondered why this young man, 
who looked more like a programmer than an entrepreneur, was a guest of the premier. The answer lay in the financial report released shortly after, in its first week online, the DeepSeeker 1 model led to a 300% surge in orders for domestic GPU manufacturers and revitalized over 20 idle computing power centers across the country. On January 27 of the same month, Nvidia's stock price plummeted 17% in a single day, with Wall Street analysts directly pointing to the computing power revolution triggered by DeepSeek. On the same day, China's Chinext board fell by 2.73%, exposing the true nature of hundreds of companies merely riding the AI hype. Alibaba's stock price surged 6% before market opening on rumors of a $1 billion investment in DeepSeek, although the news was quickly refuted. ByteDance announced a 90% price cut for its Dobo large model, Baidu urgently adjusted its Wenxin Yen commercialization strategy, and a new term began to circulate in Silicon Valley venture capital circles, deep seek effect, referring to technological disruption that achieves American performance with Chinese costs. For a long time, the global AI landscape has been dominated by European and American giants, with Chinese AI companies mostly playing catch up. But deep seek's sudden emergence has changed this dynamic. It has proven that Chinese companies can also be at the forefront of AI fundamental research, breaking the prejudice that China can only follow. DeepSeek's rise is not just the success of one company but a milestone for China's AI industry. It has shown the world China's innovation capabilities and potential in AI, rewriting the global AI competitive landscape. The emergence of the deep seek effect indicates that Chinese AI companies now possess the ability to influence the global market. This will not only encourage more Chinese companies to invest in AI fundamental research but also make European and American countries re-evaluate China's position in the field of technology, driving the global AI industry into a new era of greater diversity and more intense competition. Liang Wenfeng and his deep seek have shocked the world with seemingly impossible achievements. His story tells us that innovation does not necessarily rely on massive investment and huge teams, ideals, courage, and unique ways of thinking can also create miracles. What are your thoughts on this figure who has stirred up a storm in the tech world and the AI revolution he is leading? Do you think this is just an accidental success, or will it become a new trend? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section and discuss with everyone. Thanks for reading, and see you next time.